Hello, uh, in this lesson we are uh, going to work on adding tags uh, to our system. So let's start with um, Rails, or generate um, a new controller um, in admin namespace. So we are going to have methods new, create, edit, update, uh, show and destroy. Alright, and then uh, we are going to uh, roots, so command uh, P and then roots. Let's delete uh, the generated um, namespaces and down in here somewhere we can say resources and we can add tags. The only tag we don't want um, is the index. Okay, the only root we don't want is the index one. So that's, that's it done. So let's go into our admin folder and within that go into the tags folder and let's delete uh, the files that we don't need. So get rid of destroy, create, get rid of um, update. All right, so now that we've done that, command P again, go into our controller, um, admin namespace, and tags, okay? So partially typing. So we're going to add admin here, just to make sure that everything is um, under our um, password protection. So say tags, instance variable, we are going to create a new tag. All right, so let's go command P again, uh, view, space admin, space tag, and new. Okay, so this gives us the the new uh, index.html. Uh, so in here, we are going to uh, create a form and put our admin namespace and tag, which we created in our controller. All right, so we end our form like this. So this is um this form is going to have uh, our text field. So so f dot uh, the text um, area actually and the name of the field we're looking for in the tags is name so we're going to just say name here all right so we might want to have uh, a placeholder so we can give a hint since we don't have a label so example you could enter ruby with a comma followed by a comma and then a programming language python and then followed by php so these are all comma separated values that we want people to enter here. And then finally, we want to have our submit button. So we just have a f submit and we'll close it like this. All right, so now we have uh, what we need. We can save, uh, save this, uh, go into command P, layout admin. So we can copy line 23 and paste it. So we have two lines. So change this to tags. And to get the roots, I can say uh, rake roots. We'll have a look at the newly generated roots. And here um, on the left side, you can see we have new admin tags. Copy that, and that will be put in here. All right, so enter underscore path there. So now refresh the screen, and we have tags. So when we click on tags, it takes us to our form. So when we fill in this form with comma separated values, we want it to uh, come over to our create method. So let's handle what happens there first. So we we'll say down here to prepare our strong parameters. So we we'll define um, tags params here. And as we've done before, we want to uh, make sure that we require a tag to be sent over and then we want to permit some fields. So ID, because we need to edit things and then name of everything that we submit. Okay, so in our create method, uh, we simply say tags params, okay, which is what's sent from the view, uh, dot name. So we want to split uh, every value uh, with, with a comma, okay? So get all the comma separator values, split them, and then each value will be represented with N. And I then want to create a new tag with that new value. Okay, then save, and then that's it. And after we've saved um, everything, we then go ahead and redirect. Uh, we want to redirect to the the new um, admin tag URL. Okay, and we can give um, a notice onto the screen 
to let the user know that everything was um, successful. So tag was uh, successfully created. All right, so this tags params name is what is sent from the view. We split it, so it's comma separated value. So we then get each of the value as n, and then we create uh, the records here. Okay, so we had Ruby, comma, and then we can have Python. So it will save them as separate entities. All right, so let's give that a go. Um, come back into our view. We can just come over here and we can put some languages there. I could say Ruby, I could say JavaScript and CSS, and then click on create tag. And it was created successfully. So I'm going to uh, restart my SQL Studio, SQL Studio, and let's go into our tags table. Uh, click on data and scroll to the bottom of it. So we'll see we have three new records, Ruby, JavaScript, and CSS. So it worked. All right, so we have uh, the listings of tags to do in the next lesson, uh, but let's go ahead and, um, so I've done this, the create side of things, so this is done. Okay, so in the next lesson, we are going to uh, do some more work. In this lesson, we've learned a few things. We've learned about splitting things like that. And this is where this lesson ends. Um, I'll see you in the next lesson.